my name is Ryan and I'm here to, um, I'm going to try and uh, put together a little demonstration of uh, some vocals and how to work some stuff here. I recently uploaded some information online saying that I just got done laying down some of the basic vocal tracks for a specific song but even though I did about the best I could for this particular track I'm really not satisfied with how the tone and just the performance itself has come out. It's not really a style that I'm able to emulate very much. When the song that I've done here, when I put it together, I had in mind the style of vocaling that you would hear from uh, like Lenny Kilmeister or uh, Dave Mustaine off of some of the later Megadeth albums. So I, ch I tried to do the best I could in emulating that, but it's not really something that I can do very well. So what I'm going to do right now through a series of videos is just try to demonstrate how we go through the process of taking basically a crappy audio track that's as best as you're going to get and turning it into something that's going to be somewhat usable with uh, the track that you're going to be on. So right now I've already got the three basic tracks recorded, the main vocals, and two backing vocals that come in from time to time and I've turned off the auto mix on my machine here I'm using the Yamaha AW4416 and I've just set all the faders of the music up to be in sync with each other to where I only have to move one fader up or down to uh, get the volume to change to try and get it to set at a level that I wanted it to get set at to mix it in with the vocals while I'm trying to work with everything Anyway, let's just start off. The vocals themselves right now are raw, no EQ, no processing, no nothing. So you're going to get a chance to hear just how bad they really are before I start doing all the extra work to them. Let's get this thing set up here. And back it up a little bit. Okay, and here we go. This is our fate, this is our destiny We start our billions in it just for fun We'll get the rest with our neutron bomb Let's try to run, cause soon we'll get ya We're gonna spread you between heaven and hell It's doomed to die, yes it's is your fate To live and die in the USA That's the first verse, and that's pretty much the kind of uh, quality we're having to work with here. So, let's see. I'm going to solo those tracks and just let you hear what they are by themselves. And again, no processing, no EQ, no nothing. This is just a straight vocal. I'm using a Mar an MXL. 990 I believe it is. It's a large condenser diaphragm microphone, or excuse me, a large diaphragm condenser microphone. And the microphone itself is, sounds pretty decent, but that's neither here nor there. That's for everybody to decide for themselves. Anyway, we're getting things started here. This is the track. Well, here we are with a human race. We feast in famine on our wars and hate. Our death is life and our war is God. We fight and kill to where the only ones. There's no way out of you can plainly see. This is our fate, this is our destiny. We slaughter billions and then just for fun. We'll get the rest with a neutron bomb. Let's try to run, cause soon we'll get ya. We're gonna spread you between heaven and hell. You're doomed to die, yes, this is your fate. To live and die in the USA! So try to hide, cause we'll find you! So what you gonna Take do? Take your last train to India!
Well, no, that was very interesting. To me, it sounded like, uh, at some point, we had some toms come into the mix there. I'm not really sure why, because I didn't set anything up. Let's check the setup files. Da -da -da. Okay, that looks fine. Um, we're going to go now to view. Mm-hmm. I see. Well, turns out that I uh, didn't pay enough attention and I neglected to look at my tall mix and see that the uh, pan and route settings were still turned on to buses 1 and 2 when uh, I did the vocals. Let's see if I got anything else like that. Nothing. So it looks like just the toms. So is that really going to hinder anything about how it sounds? Just for shits and giggles. I'm going to take a look just at those backing tracks and see just how it comes out. Uh. Don't try to hide cause we'll find you! So what you gonna do? And I'm going to do the same thing with the main vocals. Take the last train to India! Okay. Well, we know there's going to be a problem there, so we might have to try and fix that. Or at least blend it in. That's possible, too. Won't know until we try. Anyway, let's set this thing back up. I don't really like how the vocals are coming out. Like I said, they're uneven. The first thing I want to do is try to even them out. So, just dealing with the main vocal. I'm going to turn on the dynamics. We're just going to turn on a compressor and basically make it a limiter. With a human race, we feast and famine on our walls and hate. Not at this okay, right life, and our war is gone. We fight and kill to where the only ones. There's no way out of you can plainly see. This is our fate, this is our destiny. We slaughter billions and then just for fun. Maybe. We'll get the rest with our neutron bomb. Let's try to run. Cause soon we'll get ya! We're gonna spread you between heaven and hell! You're doomed to die, yes this is your fate! To live and die in the USA! Alright, so basically... Take your last train to India! Basically what I found out there is... About negative 22 dB, everything gets evened out, but... With the five millisecond release and a hard knee zero attack, it kind of makes it kind of makes things a bit distorted when the higher volume levels come in. So that's going to be something that'll be dealt with later. But right now, I'm just setting up a rough uh, estimate for the compression, just so I can get the volume up and mixed in with the volume of the music better and get everything situated. So let's see, what do we got? Let's turn it all back on, just see what happens. Well, here we are with a human race. We kiss and famine on our walls and hate. Not that this life and our war is God. We fight and kill that we're the only ones. There's no way out of you can plainly see. This is our fate, this is our destiny. We slaughter billions and then just for fun. 
We'll get the rest with our new trombone. Let's try to run, cause soon we'll get ya. We're gonna spread you between heaven and hell. You're doomed to die, yes, this is your fate. To live and die in the USA. Okay, so that even it out a bit. That's gonna be something we can work with, definitely. So, um, let's see. I'm gonna turn the compressor over to run on pre-EQ instead of post-EQ, and I'm gonna go in there and just kind of play with the EQ curve on the vocal track, just to see what I might be able to get it to do. Solo it out. EQ. Now I'm actually going to cut first. I'm not going to start right into um, boosting. Well, here we are with a human race. Start at the one. We feast and famine on our walls and hate. Our death is life and our war is God. We fight and kill to where the only ones. There's no way out of you can plainly see. This is our fate. This is our destiny. We slaughter billions and then just for fun, we'll get the rest with our neutron bomb. Let's try to run, cause soon we'll get ya. We're gonna spread you between heaven and hell. You're doomed to die, yes this is your fate. To live and die in the USA! Take the last train to India! Well, that doesn't sound too great by itself, but let's hear what it sounds like with the music. Send the output on the compressor up a bit to mix it in. Well, here we are with the human race. We feast and famine on our walls and hate. Our death is life and our war is God. We fight and kill that we're the only ones. There's no way out of see this is our fate this is our okay boosting the output gain on the compressor up to plus 10 seemed to fix that problem but I still don't like how the vocals are sitting in the mix with the way the compressor is working it's when the vocals get louder the compressor kicks in harder it makes them seem a little distorted a little a little bit like the level is still bouncing really fast and that creates uh, a false distorted sound. So I'm going to see if I can smooth that out by using the knee function. We're going to take it from a hard knee and move it to something a little softer. <laughs> This is our 
our fate, this is our destiny. We slot up billions in it just for fun. We'll get the rest with our new trombone. Let's try to run, cause soon we'll get ya. We're gonna spread you between heaven and hell. You're doomed to die, yes, this is your fate. To live and die in the USA. Okay, so for the moment, our compression settings seem to be a threshold of negative 22 dB. Ratio is uh, infinity to 1. Outgain is plus 10 dB. The attack is 4 milliseconds. Release is 16 milliseconds with a knee of 1. Uh, let's just start that back from the beginning and take a listen to the whole part. <laughs> This is our destiny. We start a billion in it just for fun. We'll get the rest with our new trombone. Let's try to run, cause soon we'll get ya. We're gonna spread you between heaven and hell. You're doomed to die, yes, this is your fate. To live and die in the USA. You know what, for starters, as it is right now, I'm kind of feeling pretty good with the way the vocals sound. They're nowhere near being finished for the main vocals or any of it, and I'm going to have a lot of work to do still to try and polish them up and make them sound halfway decent for this track, but this is not a bad start. So, I think for right now, I'm actually going to save this compressor setting for the main vocal. Store title edit main box and I'm going to do the same thing for this EQ curve. And just to make sure I don't lose these settings, I'm going to do a shift song. And that's going to give me the quick save option. And that way those things will be stored in memory and I won't have to worry about it. In case I end up losing power or the machine glitches, which it occasionally does. It's very rare, but it does happen. And now... Let's see, I'm going to come back in and we're going to deal with the two harmonizing, the background vocals, they're not really harmonizing, it's just uh, a dual vocal set singing the same uh, phrases, and, phrases and notes. So instead of listening to that whole piece, I'm going to just fast forward up to that section and we'll set the in and out points. Okay, so the way I did this, I had tracks 8, 9, 10 left open that were not recorded on. I recorded the main vocal on track 9, so that left 8 and 10 to play around with. So I split them up on 8 and 10, respectively. And I'm going to set them linked together under the fader group settings. Actually, it's, you go to EQ, push the fader group tab, and record mono, mono or money. I'm going to select uh, the B um, category or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to set these things up so that they are equal volume. And when I move one, 
and they'll move together. And this is just all temporary, but I'll change it as need be, so again, let's go ahead and repeat. The USA For these guys, I'm going to go ahead and set a compressor on them as well. <clears throat> Basically, it's going to be one compressor to work for one. And, you know. <laughs> then we're going to save that setting and, and set it up on the other channel since they're not side by side. Again, we're setting for the compressor to queue off a pre-EQ on its own channel. And again, I'm going to make it a limiter for now. And we're just going to find out what it's going to take to get these things to compress down. Don't try to hide, because we'll find you! So what you going to do? And again, see what happens. Don't try to hide, because we'll find you! So what you going to do? Don't try to hide, cause we'll find you! So what you gonna do? That sounds better. One Don't more. try to hide, cause we'll find you! So what you gonna do? Alright, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And... I'm gonna see what happens. Title edit this and make it um, BG or backing box. using the same thing. Let's see what it sounds like. So try to hide cause we'll find you so what you gonna do? So all I did was drop the 1K down 9 dB, but I want to see if it might be possible to get rid of the sound of the tom in the background. I want to find out what happens if I turn uh, the low shelving EQ into a low high pass filter and see what happens. Oh, so what you gonna do? Don't try to hide, cause we'll find you, so what you gonna do? Don't try to hide, cause we'll find you, so what you gonna do? I in the USA! That may have helped a bit. 
but let's see what happens when we change the compressor output a bit. We're going to just boost it up, say, plus 6 since we cut it down to 12 dB. We're just going to half it. This, and we'll have to turn down the volume a little bit, I'm sure, so let's find out what it does. In the USA, so Too bad. Not too bad for a start, anyway. Okay, so I wonder what's going to happen if I were to do the same thing with the left channel that I just did with the right channel. Let's see. I set the frequency on the high pass filter at 420 hertz. So, let's try it again. In the USA New We're going to turn these high pass filters off And compare In the USA acceptable how it is. It's not great, but it is acceptable. We're going to put that in storage memory as BG box. Once again, quick save just to make sure we get those stored programs saved in memory bank. Now in case you're all run wondering, I'm actually recording this on the machine at 48 kilohertz, 24 bit, and the reason I'm doing that is just basically to try out the different set settings on the machine and to see what kind of effects they made. Recording at this rate, I can tell that it's got a little bit more crisp, uh, Christmas to it, high end to it. It's not something that's really detrimental, but when I do convert back down to a 16-bit 44.1 kilohertz, it does seem to lose a little bit of the crispness. It uh, seems to have a little more bass, a little more low-end roll to it. But it's workable. It's doable. So let's see what we got again, right from the initial vocal beginnings. for the main vocal tracks, possibly even the background vocal tracks. may do a little more work to see if I can get rid of that tom in the background through the background vocals a little more, but we're going to have to just see how that goes. For the moment, let's see if these settings translate fairly well to the other vo uh, ver verses. Yeah. 
effects I want to apply to this thing because I really don't think I want reverb on the main vocal track. I want to keep it fairly dry without any kind of echo or any kind of delay, reverb, anything. If I add anything it's going to be something along the lines of phasing or chorus or something but nothing that extends the sound out like you're in a a big room or anything like that. The uh, background vocals, the harmonies, I may want to thicken them up and instead of recording more vocals myself, I think I might try to use some of my gear to help me do that. Anyways, like I said, that's going to be for another time, so in the meantime, hopefully this was a little bit informative and in showing you know, what I do here and have to go through and what everybody else that uh, records their own music may have to go through when they're working with somebody like myself who's not very good at uh, doing vocals and just to uh, see how things progress as we go along. Gotta play it by ear so to speak. Till next time. <laughs>